Hi, my name's Steve. I work with the Museum of Life and Science. And today, we're bringing you a bite-sized activity we call chromatography. And so chromatography is all about the separation of mixtures. And so you can do that in a lot of different ways. The way we're gonna be doing it today is we're gonna use a marker. So we'll be separating the ink of a marker out into its individual colors and individual component inks. And we're gonna use a couple different kind of matrix materials. We're gonna use, I've got a paper towel. This is a strip of just regular paper towel that I've cut. Um, this is a coffee filter that I cut. And so you can use either one or both. You can experiment with these different materials or others. You could use a sheet of paper, things like that. And so, of course, I used a pair of scissors to make my cuts. And then I needed a marker. I used this black marker. It's, it needs to be a water soluble marker, which is usually like the kid style markers because they wash off nicely. Um, they're also usually non-toxic, which is great. Um, I'm using a beaker today to contain my, my water, which is my solvent, but you could easily just use a glass, anything that uh, you can put kind of water in and have a fair amount of space above the water. You want just a little bit of water with some space above it. And then the other two pieces that I'm using today are I'm using a pencil to attach my filter on. So it's gonna be hanging like this. We're gonna hang our filter onto, by, on, on the, uh, the pencil. And to do that, I'm using a piece of masking tape. So I used masking tape. And so I just put my tape right on my pencil like this. And then I can take my strip of paper towel and stick it onto the tape like that. And so now I have this little strip of chromatography matrix. And what I want to do is just before I stick it in there, I want to just make sure that everything lines up nicely. So you can see that my paper towel is just going to be dipping right into the water just like that. And then this allows me also to know where I'm going to make my mark with my marker. Because what I don't want is I don't want this to be at the very bottom and then the marker to all just go into the water. I want the water to get pulled up by capillary action so the water is sticky and crawls its way up the paper towel. And so I want to put my mark above the water. So I'm going to put it right about there. I'm just going to mark it where I want it. And then I'm going to make that mark on the table. So I'm just making a line across my strip of paper towel like that. And it's going to be above where my water is. And then I'm going to dip this in and we'll see what happens. So make some guesses as to what about, what's about to happen. Make some hypotheses. Let's see. I'm going to stick that in there right like that. And you, as you might have imagined, the water's crawling its way up the paper towel. But then what's really cool is you see that black turn into other colors. See, I see a bunch of red kind of appearing. There's even some kind of blues on the edge. And so I'm gonna let that continue to crawl its way up the, the paper towel while I make one out of the coffee filter. And we'll take a look and see what happens with that guy. So again, I'm taking my tape and I'm just sticking it onto the filter or onto the coffee filter strip that I cut out and then I'm just adding it to my paper, my, my uh, colored pencil. And so then I'm gonna do the same thing. Just gonna take a look at this line here, make sure that lines up nicely, it does. And then I'm gonna put a line on the filter with my marker, and then I'm gonna dip that in. And so I'm gonna let that go for a second while I show you what I did with the other pieces. So here's a couple pieces that I made a minute ago. I made these about five minutes ago. And so you can see this was a black line down here and the line is completely gone. And now we've separated out all this red and at the very top, this blue is starting to emerge. And so this black marker was actually made of blue and red rather than just one black ink color. It kind of seems counterintuitive, but that's what chromatography is all about, is separating the individual components of a mixture using, in this case, we used a solvent, we call it water, we drink it all the time, but it is really good at pulling the molecules of these inks through this matrix of the paper towel, and some of those inks travel more easily than others, and we separate them. One of the coolest things is after you're done, you can kind of pull these different experiments out and then I put them on a paper towel. And as I did that, I played with different colors. I used multiple different types of marker to see what colors I could pull out of the other um, uh, different, different uh, markers. And as I did that, I kept making more and more experiments and I ended up with this kind of cool tie-dye effect, this, uh, this cool artwork almost that I made out of my chromatography prints. And you could kind of start to separate those inks and make something really cool, a cool art artistic creation. Um, and I, uh, I really enjoyed this experiment. I hope you did too. And uh, this was chromatography. We'll see you in the next one.